Okay, here we are. And here we are to talk about the Patriots Super Bowl tape. Fortunately, it's incomplete. I can probably watch it on YouTube if I wanted to, but um, I'm not going to even bother. This was Super Bowl 38. Um, Panthers and the Patriots in 2004. It actually showed the Janet Jackson incident on it. Um, and about five minutes after that, the tape cut out. It did show her... It, did, it was very quick. I don't know how it made it to TV because usually with these kind of things, they usually they have time delay, so they're able to um, prevent people from seeing it. But I don't think it showed the whole it, it showed the whole boob. I think the nipple or something was covered. I I never I didn't reverse the tape because I I wasn't using a VCR that I had a remote control for, and I'm not gonna go crazy over something stupid like this. But that was the Janet Jackson incident. Um, it wasn't as big as people made it sound. I mean, it didn't happen in the uh, middle of the show either. It was at the end. So, whatever. Was it a good football game? It was kind of a little crazy up until halftime. And it sucks. It only um, ran into somewhere near the third quarter. I got this tape from... It was in a music magic... Magic, um, what's it called? A music magic um, bucket for VHS tapes that were coming in. I think they just gave it to me for free. Someone must have pre-recorded it on their VCR. And um, they p probably put it on the wrong record speed. They probably did. Um, Wait, well, I'll read you the speeds on the back here. Usually they have it on the tape. Well, this was in, this is definitely um, not an 8. This, was this an 8-hour tape? I don't even know. It doesn't feel like it's heavy. And maybe it is. They, they didn't use the 8 hours, though. They you um... They used probably, this wasn't an EP mode, it was probably an SP or something that did a little over two hours, maybe two and a half hours, and then it cut out. So that's probably why. So I didn't get to see the whole thing, but the tape quality was, um, it was worn out. The audio was pretty bad, but it wasn't unwatchable. You could understand what everyone was saying. But depending on, you know, believe it or not, depending on what VCR you use, one VCR can make it sound better than another. That's the one thing. Um, people said there was big differences between laser disc plays. I think there's way bigger differences between VCRs and there are laser disc plays, especially when it comes to audio. The stereo audio on a laser disc play can sound really good, even on the cheapest one I have, compared to um, a VCR, which um, if it had VCR doesn't have stereo and has mono and all that, it can sound like shit. Well, that's it, and bye-bye.